I think the biggest one is going to be communication. Um, communication between all of the levels um, from the K-12 classrooms to the teachers that we work with to the cooperating teachers that we work with, teacher leaders, and then to all the partners and faculty members that are involved in our teacher education programs, getting the word out, getting them familiar with the characteristics of highly effective teaching and learning, um, the new Common Core standards, how they're going to be used, um, college and career readiness, what that means for them um, as high school teachers and what it will mean for their students when they graduate and move on to post-secondary education or a career of their choice. Um, communication is probably going to be the biggest challenge, but I think we, as long as we keep communicating with each other um, and setting up networks and workshops and um, uh, resources for uh, people to use, that, that will be overcome. I think barriers are something that school districts like to talk about and I think colleges probably avoid. Um, so I think what we have to think about is that uh, when you talk about P20, the innovation labs are set up to work um, in a collaboration and partnership with school districts. And another word for barriers could be needs. What are your needs? What are the things that would prevent you from having student success and, and things totally implemented? Um, so that sets up typically um, new thinking, um, new problem solving, new ways of doing things. Um, and it breaks tradition. And I think that's where the innovation labs can really be working. And this is where we're working across the state to have our colleges and school districts in partnerships so that we work and think not just outside the box, but we're creating new things. Um, and barriers are going to help us identify those because those are things that um, have not worked and they do stand in the way. So let's think of ways we're going to have to build new bridges around, uh, oh, not over them and around them, but actually build whole new thinking. Um, those are, Senate Bill 1 gives us that opportunity. It's a great opportunity. Uh, we have not had um, the opportunity to really say that colleges and school districts, it's, it's a spiral all the way now, all the way through. Um, and so now we all need to work uh, in partnership together uh, to help our students in Kentucky be successful so that, that our economy in the state picks up as well as everything else. I think some of the barriers uh, that I've seen in the schools as I've, as I've visited schools lately is making sure that we're all talking the same language. Uh, that, that uh, if we're talking about learning targets in K-12 education, let's make sure that, that post-secondary education, and this really is not insulting anybody's intelligence, but let's make sure that, that post-secondary is talking about learning targets, and it's the same definition. Uh, if we're talking about assessment, let's make sure that the assessment models are the same assessment models. If we're talking about uh, uh, effective teaching and learning strategies, then they're getting the same effective learning and teaching strategies coming out of uh, college prep classes uh, as they are uh, in, in the K-12 education programs now.